Hello guys and girls out there, wherever you are. Welcome to another totally random video. And today it's time for another episode of my super teeny tiny vinyl collection. And I just want to show you uh, three vinyls from a music project that I'm really interested in right now. And yeah, because right now I'm really a little bit into uh, quiet and dark ambient music and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I want to share it with you. Uh, it's a music project named Rainforest Spiritual Enslavement. And it's a, some kind of a dark ambient music project by a guy named Dominic Fernow. He's also the owner of Hospital Productions, which is a music label that deals with a lot of creepy and noise and abstract and dark ambient music and all that kind of stuff. So um, a lot of this stuff from Rainforest Spiritual Enslavement is also being released on tape, which is kind of sad because they are really hard to find because they are really extremely limited. Um, I think the first album was limited to only 16 copies. So um, that's a, a little shame, but that's just the way it is. So this is not the first album, but it's the first vinyl release. It's called Black Magic Cannot Cross Water. And it was originally released on tape at Hospital Productions, but then it got remastered and re-released on vinyl by another label called Blackest Ever Black. So, yeah. And there are two 14-minute tracks on this vinyl record. And there is also like a creepy backstory to this music uh, because... In this music, Dominic Ferner also uses a lot of sounds from the nature and field recordings and all that kind of stuff. And the people from Blackest Ever Black, they claim that the field recordings used in this music were sourced from a box of cassettes found on a market in, I hope I say that correctly, uh, Papua New Guinea or something like that. And it was believed that those cassettes, those field recordings, were made by some Christian missionaries back in the 1980s before they mysteriously disappeared. So those people disappeared and then somebody apparently found their recordings. And yeah, I don't know. It sounds a little bit creepy. It sounds a little bit like... Uh, Blair Witch Project, but I don't know if or how much of this story is actually true. But, yeah, I also couldn't find anything on the internet about Christian missionaries that disappeared in the 1980s. So, um, I don't know whether or not I should believe it. Um, then we have this vinyl record right here. It's the second vinyl release. I think it's called The Plant with Many Faces. Uh, this is the black vinyl version. I think this one has also been released as, I think as a clear vinyl version. And here we can also see uh, the Rainforest Spiritual Enslavement logo and the hospital productions logo. So this music uh, deals with, as you can probably tell, uh, black magic and evil spirits and all that kind of stuff. And here we have the third vinyl release called Vel and a Folklore Venom. This is also the black vinyl release. It also has been released as a tape version and as a translucent red vinyl version and yeah this record is also a little bit creepy especially like the first song upside down left eye because this record deals a little bit with the fact that 
like this track says, in Honduras, death caused by being chased by spirits. Um, it deals a little bit with the death of Left Eye, or her real name was Lisa Lopez. Uh, she died in Honduras and she believed at the end of her life, she believed that she has been chased by some evil spirits. And I think she and her agent, they got into a car accident where they accidentally hit a little boy whose last name was also Lopez and who wore the same or he had the same shoe size as Lisa. And I think a couple of days or maybe three days after they killed that little boy in this car accident, Lisa Lopez herself got into a car accident where she actually died. And it's really creepy and yeah, that's what this music or this record deals with a little bit. So that's why Upside Down Left Eye, because Left Eye was also her stage name or maybe her, la her name in the band TLC. So it's really kind of creepy. Uh, there is also a third, no, a fourth vinyl release from Rainforest Spiritual Enslavement, but I don't have that yet. And my advice to you is there are some people who uploaded some videos with this music. And if you want to listen to it, if you want to figure out if that's the right kind of music for you, don't listen to this music on shitty headphones or shitty speakers. Listen to it on really good headphones and good speakers, decent speakers. And I'm talking about speakers that are basically bigger than the palm of your hand. Because this music uses a lot of low noises and low basses and all that kind of stuff really really low and small speakers like PC speakers and all that kind of stuff they can't even produce those really low sounds so when you listen to it on shitty speakers you're basically just listening to half of the music and you probably won't like it so listen to it on decent speakers or decent headphones who can produce really really low sounds and yeah, I really like that kind of music. It's really a nice music project. I hope there is going to be more. And yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, stay tuned. And I hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.